Welcome back to Jimmy Rig the Beater. Now, this character has plenty of bones, but no weight on those bones. That's my little joke. Anyway, let's see if we can rig him in Jimmy Rigger. There he is. Now, Jimmy Rigger rigs characters based on volumetrics. That's great, even for some characters where there are not linked elements. But when the elements, well, you see there, uh, have more space than volume, we need to assist Jimmy Rigger by defining the volume in which the character sits. So there we are. We've drawn a simple box structure around the bulk of the volume. You can see it there. And in order to make it look nice in Jimmy Rigger, we need to make the surface of that box transparent. So let's load that modified character back into Jimmy Rigger. And what we're going to do now is just let it run the full course of the rigging process, which uh, will take about a minute and a half to two minutes on a character of this complexity. Jimmy Rigger really isn't limited in any way to the complexity, number of polygons and such of a character and also in terms of representing it on the screen you can see it does transparency because we can't see the blocked out elements we put in just a moment ago and you already know it does diffuse because you saw that from the giraffe in previous videos but it also does normal maps bumps specular luminosity and reflection and as you've seen from previous videos it does shadows and soft shadows it also does motion blur which is quite nice when it's rendered out. What I also want to talk about now is the open programming model uh, that we have for Jimmy Rigger. Now the motion modifiers that you've seen in previous videos, for instance the destination modifier that allows you to make a character walk right or left, or the grounder motion modifier that with inverse kinematics allows you to get a character to walk over a undulating surface. Those are all JavaScripts and they sit in a directory that would be available to you that Jimmy Rig looks at before it loads uh, up the full interface. And what we want to uh, encourage is you coders out there to create your own motion modifiers and uh, let them loose on the community and all you'd need to do is drop them into the directory and they would appear in your list of motion modifiers the initial version of Jimmy Rigger uh, will ship with lightwave object and lightwave scene import and export and you might be wondering, uh, when are we going to see this? Is this vaporware? Uh, well, it's not vaporware. We are going to release it for less than $250 on July the 15th. And I'm not talking about 2020. I'm talking about this year. July the 15th this year. So it's just finishing off the uh, transfer of the weight onto the mesh there. It's also quite good for characters, for instance, if you have like hands free floating in space to box your model uh, in the fashion I've just shown you there. Uh, and uh, it will rig those characters correctly if you do that. Okay, so there we go. It's walking now. The knees are knocking, so um, let's just get a cycle working and we've added this knee separation in here this is new from the previous video which enables us to just spread those knees out a little bit and stop them a knocking just adjust the arms there's a similar function for the arms it's quite good if you've got a uh, a well uh, weighted character Okay, well, we've all seen the walk before, haven't we? There we go, lovely. Let's try something a little bit more interesting. Boxing. Oh, yeah. 
Shame we haven't got a sword fight. We could go for the full Ray Harryhausen action. This game doing something a little bit more dull. Um, what could be more dull than waiting for a bus? Dun, 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 God, where's that bus? Uh, God, it's late already. I'll never get to my meeting. So there we have it. Let's uh, just show you the fact that it handles the mesh. There we go. Wonderful. Yeah, we like that. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoy it.